Welcome to Solid Camp Professor. I'm Sydney, your Solid Camp Professor, and in this lesson, we'll be showing you part two of our lesson of creating chain geometries. Now, in this lesson, we'll go into depth as for the options of choosing automatically and in multi chain. Now, we'll start off with choosing automatically. My first choice is auto to general. Auto to general generally is not used on a uh, model uh, for a very simple reason. Auto general simply picks a chain as it goes around. But we'll see what happens when we choose it on the model and we choose the option of auto general. I'll choose the first element. What it tells me now is pick next entity in chain direction and I'll simply pick the next entity. This gives me the direction. However, at this point, it still cannot create the chain fully for the simple reason that at this point, it doesn't know exactly what to do. Should it go this way or this way? And therefore, it highlights those two uh, elements and asks me to choose which way do I want to go. I'll simply choose this one. But the problem is now, when it gets to the next cross point, the same thing happens over here. And this continues on around the part. So this does not help me out much. I'll simply click on reject chain because I don't want to do it. But this time out, I'll choose on the option of auto constant Z. Now when I choose the first element, as shown here, and it asks me to pick the chain direction, I'll choose this element for the chain direction. You'll note that it automatically closes the entire chain. Why? Because this chain is constantly on that particular Z level and it doesn't look for any other chains connecting onto that uh, element over there. Now another option we have here in the auto constant Z or in any of these options we have here auto to point. Say I want to create a geometry that goes around the part automatically. However, I only want it to stop at a specific point, say up until that edge over there, starting from here and finishing at that point, but I want it to do it automatically. So what I'll do is right now, I'll simply replace this chain that I have here, and I'll say auto constant Z and click auto to point. What will happen now is as follows. I'll choose my first geometry as I did before, and I'll choose my direction that I want to go in. But now it's asking me to choose my target vertex. So I'll simply turn the part around. And I'll click on this point over here. And you'll see now that the chain was automatically created up until that point. If that's all I want, I'll uh, accept my chain over here. Now let's talk a little bit about creating chains for a pocket geometry. What's important for a pocket geometry is that the chain, first of all, must be a closed chain. The second thing that's important is that if we have an island in our pockets, such as in this particular case over here, the first chain must be the outer border, and the, then the following chains are the borders of the islands themselves. Now, to creating chain in this particular pocket, I can go into auto chain and then create the first one and then the second one and then the third one. That would be pretty easy. However, let's say I had an island that had many chains or the chains were a little more difficult to pick. We can use the option here called multi-chain. Simply click add on multi-chain. Click on the surface itself it'll automatically recognize every single chain that's on that surface. All I do is, is simply accept this, and I now have three chains that are created for this particular pocket. The first one being on the outside, and the following chains are the ch chains that are, are in the inside. Thank you for joining us on SolidCamp Professor. Take care and have a nice day.